All right, so I'm going out for a bite to eat with Joseph. Give myself a little spot wash, and apparently I needed it. Look how disgusting <laughs> this thing is. So gross. <laughs> uh, and I love it. Here I am sitting at home getting ready to go. And the door to enter the restaurant is literally about 10 feet outside of my door. It doesn't open till like five o'clock. Me and Joseph are like 20 minutes early. He's probably having a nap in his van or something like that. All right. <laughs> I love moments like this where you just laugh. You're like, seriously? Everybody else got ready to go at home to come out. Not me. I get ready right outside parked in the parking lot of the restaurant. Super fun. <sighs> okay, so I ran into Mr. Jeffy Bear, and he went to Ikea and bought me something. So the other day you guys seen that um, I gave Jeff that big round mirror that somebody gave me. It was just a little bulky, and I don't want anything bulky like that in the van. So he went to Ikea and picked up this mirror. Look at plastic and I'm actually really excited about it which means I can mount this anywhere I can mount this inside this door over here I can put it up on my roof on my wall super thin and not glass I'm excited for it so Jeff thank you very much bro this is what it's called at Ikea <laughs> try and pronounce that I dare you I can get my fingers in there. Oh, 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 that is incredible for a piece of plastic that's like bendable. And the cool thing is you can cut it. So if you need to put it in a, in a cupboard for the right size. Oh, am I ever excited about this? <laughs> huh? Ikea, pretty cool. Okay, restaurant should be opening soon. I guess Joseph has this tradition at the very last day on hunting season, which is today's the last day. He always stops at this little place in Squamish called Pepe's for butter chicken. So that's where we're going. Get some butter chicken. for is that open sign to go bing. There's Joseph. Hey buddy. Are you watching? He's watching his own video. Are you really watching your own video? <laughs> no, I see that. We're just waiting for that sign to say open. We're waiting. We're waiting. Um, there's a big puddle right here. Day in the life inside of a camper van. <laughs> Hi, ma'am. <laughs> My YouTube channel wanted me to let you know that your tinted windows do not help when you're in the van at night. I hope you are aware that everybody can see what's going on inside of your van with your windows open. Yeah, I kind of am, but I don't care. Like, but, I mean, most of... But shut your window. See? You can't see anything, you guys. Nothing. See, he's got covers on it. <laughs> I seen someone in the comments the other day. He's like, does he know that people can see in? I'm like, yeah, but he puts covers on it. So when he's in here all by himself... Whoa, Cruzy. Take care, buddy. Watch your legs. Nobody can see. When I first moved into this thing, I was... I didn't have any of that. So like I slept without <laughs> that for like a, probably a week and I just like laid down really still and nobody would notice. Somebody's I was walking that. by, they're like, whoa, 
Hey, there's some dude sleeping in his van over there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you do what you gotta do for a little while. <laughs> Slow ride. You must stay outside, buddy. <sighs> <laughs> I just popped over here to see what he was doing. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He goes, I'm just looking to see the we weather. Oh, just take a look out. Look at it. It's wet, bro. <laughs> it's raining outside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> For tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at my glasses. <laughs> Cruz is completely soaking wet. We just went outside to go for a pee. Oh, Cruzy Bear. You are completely drenched, buddy. Hey? You're so wet. It has been this kind of weather out here. Literally, I need some windshield wipers on this stuff. Oh, I gotta turn some heat on. Dry this van out. There we go. I was also talking to Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's like, should we just get out a bar of soap and just like <laughs> lather up while we're out here? I'm like, might as well, man. <laughs> Typical West Coast rainy winter weather. Oh, it will dry you off too. It'll dry you off too, buddy. Hey. <laughs> hey. That's my boy, buddy. That's my boy. <laughs> I stopped at 7-Eleven and picked myself up some Mike and Ikes. Rainy night, a little bit of movies, some Mike and Ikes. The Mega Mix ones are the, are the best Me Mike and Ikes ones. And if you disagree, well... Put them up, guys. <laughs> we need to scrap it up. Um, speaking of that. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a gooder. <laughs> that's a gooder. I got that. Uh, I got that word from Andy from Happy Camper Kits. What's up, bro? The guy that built this part of my van, he always like, I think he says gooder. I think it's gooder. He goes, that's gooder. <laughs> it's on my app. Mmm. <laughs> Just the explosion of flavor in my mouth is amazing. Okay. I can somewhat see you. It's still foggy on this one side, though. I like it that I can turn on my heater, though, and dry the van out. I'm pretty stoked on this uh, on this mirror. I've always wanted a mirror in my van, and believe it or not, Jeff got this idea from a lady. Um, I filmed her van tour. So her name is Natalie. Her van tour, I don't know if you guys remember, it was so long ago. It's on my van tour playlist. She's got a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous ProMaster van conversion. And I made a video with her the day after I filmed her van tour, and we made a a Lucy light, you know those little solar powered little inflatable Lucy lights? She made a big lampshade from a Lucy light. It's a long round cylinder with a pattern on side. It was like a, like a table, table placement thing wrapped up or a doormat or something like that wrapped up with a Lucy light. Anyway, it was her that he got this idea from. I guess she has one of these hanging in her van from where her curtain is. So it literally hangs right here. But I'm pretty excited about mounting this somewhere. I think I'm gonna be putting it inside of this cupboard door. So if I ever need to shave, oh, back on your brewing's in there. Where am I gonna put it now? I was thinking like maybe I'll put it here. So if I ever need to shave, it's just there. Huh. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will put it in here. Ooh, now you're thinking, Chrome. Now you're thinking, buddy. Maybe I will mount it underneath here. So on a piece of Velcro, so this will flip upside down and then I pull and then have it so it's strapped to the top. So I pull the Velcro down 
okay, then when I'm here, it'll be attached to the top there. I don't know how I'll do the top there. And then when I want to shave, it's just right here, my mirror. And then when I'm done with my mirror, I flip it up, stick it to that, and shut it. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I need to get into the drawer behind you, buddy. My channel has been growing so quick. I just can't wrap my head around any of this stuff. We are at 125,000 subscribers. I thought maybe by January 1st, we'd be barely breaking 100K. Now we're at 125K. In the last 28 days on my channel, we've had 3.2 million views. <laughs> this is so insane for me. I looked back the other day at some of my older videos and I can see videos back there that only had like 3,000 views on it. And I remember when I uploaded it, I think they maybe only had 500 and then over the last few years they've trickled forward from new people going back. But it's insane to know that I have videos back there that people have barely ever watched. Now we're like mountains bigger. I think, I think back then we might have only had like 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> 125,000. Oh, this is absolutely insane. I could have never imagined years ago when I started out living inside of this rig that we'd be here eating Mike and Ike's on camera and have 125,000 people that want to watch me eat Mike and Ike. Okay. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Cruzy, I was gonna make fun of you for burping, and here I am being just as gross. <laughs> I'm about to I'm gonna clean out your little wrinkle. There you go, buddy. Hey, got to take care of you, buddy. We got to take care of each other. Yeah, we got to take care of each other. Yeah. Chris? How's your leg, buddy? People want to know. How's your leg feeling? Pretty good? <laughs> good enough that you were running around today like there was nothing wrong with it. So we've been massaging the leg and stuff like that and stretching it out. Like I've been grabbing his leg and stretching it out and, and uh, keeping him mobile and stuff the last few days, but it's doing pretty good. He's been uh, walking around like it's about 80% fixed. <laughs> Cruzy, you're the best, you know that? The absolute best. When I was out at Home Depot with Jeffy Bear the other day, I found these hooks and people in my comments called these like a drunken octopus hook or something like that. I never heard of that before. Yeah, these little, I guess they kind of look like a drunken octopus. <laughs> so anyway, I'm actually going to put two of them on the front here. That way I can hang shirts when I come into the door or my jacket. It gives me an extra extension to what I'm using on my skateboard right now. I have some room here. So when I come in, I could take the little hook that's on the inside of my flannels hang them up there hey bang but then today I was thinking well that's on the opposite side of where my heater is so my heater comes out here and if I turn the front of this thing you can turn the vent so right now it's pointing upwards if I turn it this way it's pointing downwards well if I pointed it upwards and I hung clothes right here it would dry my clothes so I think I'm gonna mount one right up top there so I can hang clothes in front of my heater. Hey, now I'm thinking. 
Hey, what do you guys think? Oh, we're great. <laughs> Go on. Whew. This is why they invented electric drills. And that's the truth. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I tried to get them like the same. Are they the same? They're close enough. Oh, yeah. oh my arms are on fire. <laughs> It'd have probably been less work to go outside and grab the electric drill. Sometimes you gotta do things old school. They're not like, that one's lower than that one. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard because the roof kind of curves, so yeah, who knows? There we go. We have lots of hooks right there on the corner. Now I can hang towels. Oh my gosh, right in front of like there. It's gonna be so nice to hang. Oh, so excited. Main reason for those hooks were my flannel shirts. <laughs> ah, so excited for this. Hey, there we go. Somebody in my comments the other day said, hey Chrome, that pillow you have back there, you should sell these. We do, they're on our store. Um, on the website, vancityvanlife.ca. Just click on the, the Cruise the Bulldog image for stuff on Teespring and it'll take you to all this stuff. Six degrees Celsius, 99% humidity outside. We're probably good without the heater here tonight. So we're just gonna shut that off. It's that simple, man. Just hit the power button and you're done. When I watch movies in my van at night, I tether my laptop to my MiFi hotspot box. This little box is my mobile internet in my van. On the top of the box here has a SIM card with a 100 gig data plan on here. So it's got one of those little steely mounts. I mount this right up there, it gets connected to the wall. And anytime I open on my laptop, it logs me in. So if you ever pull up beside me and you see Van City Van Life as an accessible Wi-Fi network, no, you can't have the password. But yeah, if you're wondering what that is, it's this little box here. I know Joseph has pulled up beside me and he texted me when I was like, yo, give me your password. I'm like, no way, Joseph, use your own data. But this little box has been a complete game changer inside of my van. And if you're wondering, this is kept right there, right on the little steely mount hold. That's where it stays home all the time. Here's the on and off switch for my inverter. Turn that on. That beeping noise was my inverter turning on. And uh, yeah, got it plugged into my laptop. Just need to make sure that the other end is plugged in over here. I've got a power bar beside my bed. There we go, laptop's got power. If you look at the top of my laptop here, it says I have Wi-Fi full bars. It's because that's connected to my Van City Van Life network just like it is in an apartment by simply opening up your laptop and boom, you're logged into your home network. That's where having that little box is so cool because it feels like I'm back in my apartment. I open up my laptop and I'm ready to go. This is like a Zoom call. Why? I'm not wearing any pants. Anyway, you guys, <clears throat> I've been doing this whole video with, with no pants on. I got underwear. Don't worry. Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. <laughs>